Just arrived at the car show in Farmington, Illinois. It's behind the old high school. Uh, anybody's not doing anything, stop out and see us. Catch you in a bit, guys. We'll do a walk around and show the cars. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a little voice over here. They were playing music during the car show. And if I uh, post a video with that music playing, I'm gonna get copyright issues. But anyway, that uh, brown LTD right there, it was kind of cool seeing one of those. It's just a car you don't see anybody ever save. And my parents had those when I was a kid and that's what we used to ride around in. It's just been a long time since I seen one, you know. A friend of mine had an Impala, kind of like that one. It was a four door though. Cool Superbird. They had a lot of nice cars here. A lot of nice cars. And this show was free to get in. It didn't uh, didn't cost anything to enter. The other one we went to a while back in Elmwood, it was uh, $25 per car. And I took the 59 and the Eliza 40 over there. And 25 bucks a car was 50 bucks. Yeah. Got some Corvettes and stuff setting up there. At this point in time, this is early in the day, there was still a lot of people showing up. I think by the time I left, it was probably getting about as full it was gonna get. That's a cool van. It's kinda neat. But I think it about filled up to the point it was going to. I think they said there was like 85 cars there. Like that Chevelle. This truck, you can't see it good in the video, but it had an amazing paint job. It was like a real deep burgundy, like candy apple, high metallic paint job. It, it was really well done. That was a 57 Chevy pickup. There's a lot of Corvettes there. There's always a lot of Corvettes, it seems like. I'm not big into the Corvettes, but I do appreciate them. This was a nicely done truck too. And then that Ford Fairlane, uh, I like those. The Camaro coming up, it was a real show car. It had a, it had a show quality paint job underneath the hood compartment and uh, it truly was a show car. Very, very nice. You can kind of get a view of it there. There's another Chevelle that comes up later that was um, that kind of quality, if not better. Wellies. And that is a, what is that, a 68? I think it's a 68 Camaro. Might be a 69. 69 had the square fender tops. Another Corvette. 
It's a nice Monte Carlo. This was the first annual car show. It was um, it was in memory of a guy named Jerry Huffman. He was um, he was from the Farmington area. That's where the car show was taking place. He had uh, worked as a car salesman, worked as, in a car dealership with his father, Huffman's. I think that was in Trivola, the next town up. Then he worked at a lot of dealerships selling cars. But he was also a drag racer, and uh, he'd race at Cordoba and uh, in different places around it. He was pretty successful at it, and he, he restored a lot of Chevy cars. And uh, this was the first annual memorial car show in his, in his honor. There's Eliza. Some lady there getting a look at her. Those tailpipes I put on there made a huge difference. I have no exhaust fumes now, and it is much quieter inside. It's just a lot smoother driving now. I, it's something I should have done earlier. I actually had no, no idea how bad it really was until I put them on, and, and then the difference was, um, yeah, it was, it was quite something else. I wasn't sure what this was until I saw the badge on the grill. It's an Essex. This Ford Falcon coming up here. I thought that was kind of neat. I'm not sure what this thing is. Big Chrysler or something? Big Plymouth or Chrysler? I'm just not really sure. This car here, uh, what is that? A '56, I think. But look at the look at the door posts on it. They faded the yellow into the white with the paint job. I thought that was really cool. It really looked nice. Then there a minute ago, I was talking about. There's an international. It's pretty neat. I was talking about that really nice, perfect Chevelle when we was getting a look at that show quality Camaro. This is it here. This car is just beautiful. And uh, I get it on film a little later and we get a better look at it. Model T truck. Always a lot of Chevelles, you know. Lots of Chevelles of all different years.
little big straight truck. It's kind of neat to see that at a car show. There was even a few tractors here. This was a Harley Davidson knucklehead. Uh, I show it here in a second, but I think it was a 41. Had a sidecar. There's a 60s Triumph sitting here beside it. Yeah, 41 knuckle. My friend Brian's got two of these. And actually, he bought a sidecar for one of them. He hasn't got it mounted, but he has it. '59 Chevy, always kind of like those, and this has got, I believe it's the 409 in it, but there's another motor that looked like a 409. I can't remember the um, the number designation on it, but it could be one of those. But it's one or the other. It's that uh, oh whatever they called that block. It's the style the 409 is. It's probably a 409. This car was in really great shape, but it was missing a door panel. I don't know if they'd been working on it or, or what. Yeah, 79 Ford truck. That was a GTO sitting back over the tri power on it. There was a lot of people standing around. I couldn't I couldn't ever really get it on film too good. This is a rat rod. This is um built by some guy in Farmington, Illinois. That's the town I was in. I see painted on the side of it that it was it was local from that town. name on the wind is kind of neat. It was um, Fulish. This thing here coming up. Yeah. Not sure what that thing's called. never seen one before I was a bit confused looking at it it has no engine it's like uh how did it get there you know did did somebody tow it there or just couldn't figure out how it got there of course I know it's an electric vehicle it's got a bunch of batteries somewhere uh, yeah, you open the hood and you see a trunk. It just seems kind of odd to me. And we had like a Challenger. I think it was Challenger. 360 in it, it said. I heard me pointing at that thing. I'm like, how did it get here? There's no engine in it. Those electric vehicles look strange with no grills too. You're just so you're used to seeing the grills, you know. This Oldsmobile was beautiful. It had like um or not Oldsmobile Buick, I mean it had like the nail head uh, engine in it. The Buick nail head. This was like a drag car here, kind of a hybrid show car, drag car.
This is a Chevelle. Look at the interior and stuff in here. This thing is just beautiful. Very nice car. I thought it was probably the nicest car to show. It's a Yanko big block in there. There's a good look at those door posts. I believe that's 56. These were the last arrivals that showed up right before I was getting ready to leave. I'll walk down this row here a little bit and just show what showed up, show what showed up here at the end. But there was like a 75, six Ford dump truck. Uh, what is this? Is that a Chevelle? Can't tell. That's a Pontiac. Isn't it? Maybe an Oldsmobile. I actually didn't even know what this was until I saw the Corvette emblem on it. Oh, it's a Corvette. Looks pretty exotic. A nomad wagon and uh, on the other side see what this orangish colored one is it's a uh, I think that's a 55 56 I think it's a 55 and there's another nomad wagon this one's a 57 the first wagon nomad was a 55 or 6 one's a 57. Nomad wagons are, they're not real plentiful. We go up to here and then uh, that's the Monte Carlo that we've already seen. So I think we pretty well made the rounds here. And guys, I got a good look at all the toys, but I think I'm about ready to get out of here. It's getting hotter than hell. I'm ready to feel the wind in my hair. If you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pack up and we're gonna head towards home, I think. Hey guys, that was my little tour of the first annual Jerry Huffman Memorial Car Show in Farmington, Illinois. Uh, I know I got to model and make and years and stuff wrong on some of those cars, but I was, uh, I was putting a voiceover on there as I was just watching the video and uh, I had to do that because the whole time I was at the car show, they just had music blaring. And if I had to post a video, I'd have had copyright issues of every song they played, which was probably 10. So uh, the best thing for me to do is just delete the sound and do it that way. So anyway, that's the best I could do without actually being there viewing the cars while I was doing it. But anyway, that's what I saw. That was last Saturday. It was very hot that day. I only stayed about two, two and a half hours probably. But um, anyway, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later, Jeremy.